Today I'm going to talk about my Patek Philippe and some of you may um, realize that this is a re-upload that's because I had to take this video down because of the previous owner and um, I would love to tell you who is the previous owner which I did in the previous video but it's actually a precedent and I'm, I'm not joking here it's an actual precedent who owned this watch before me but I got in some serious trouble for um, exposing that so I had to take down the video and uh, now all of that is deleted I'm re-uploading the video now but without saying which precedent owned this watch before me um, but without any further ado guys um, this is the review and the video about my Patek Philippe and um, yeah, I cannot disclose who's the previous owner, but it is a president who actually owned this watch before me. But here you go, here's the video of my Patek Philippe. Welcome to yet another video. Today, I am going to take a look at something very, very special to me. My watch, or one of my watches, my Patek Philippe. I have gotten a lot of comments and questions about it historically. And uh, what people don't know is that this specific watch is of course very rare because it's a Patek Philippe Nautilus. They are rare already, but something very special is true with this specific watch because of its history. I'm gonna go into that very soon about who was the previous owner. Um, so let's maybe just open it up and take a look at this watch. Is it a new one or why you just unboxing it? Yeah, so it's not new. I'm, I'm fake unboxing it now, <laughs> obviously. It's a better experience. It's a nicer experience. I, I love watching unboxing videos myself, so you will see the experience that um, the first owner would have had. And I'm gonna tell you. Look at this box, look at these details, guys. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is uh, how a $140,000 um, watch should be presented. Obviously, it was a much cheaper retail price. If you buy it from Patek Philippe directly, you would get it much, much cheaper. But you have to be someone incredibly special to be able to buy this directly from Patek Philippe. Um, if you are a watch person, then you know that if you go into Patek Philippe and ask them to buy one of these, they will laugh at you. They will laugh and then they will show you the door. That's how impossible it is to get these, uh, these watches. I think in the first place you need to buy a couple of Patek Philippe to get it, right? More than that, yeah, you have to buy. Them, they take it for serious. Honestly, I think you have to buy five, ten watches, and even then, it's not guaranteed that you get a uh, a uh, Nautilus like this um, for a retail price. Wow. Let's maybe just take a quick look at it. I mean, I, first of all, it looks amazing, right? It's actually a watch which you could which you could wear every day. Like it fits 100%. on every outfit. It's clean. Yep. It's nice. This is my everyday watch. This is the watch I'm wearing the most right now. Um, yeah, let's let's just take this off. off. This is my... Which one is that? It's the Rolex? This is my first watch I ever bought, actually. Which one? Is it the... Uh, day date. Date, just, right? date, day, day, day date, date, right? Yeah. So you have the day, and then you have the date. That's why it's called a day date. And uh, it's also called the presidential, actually, because there are many mm. um, presidents throughout the years who have um, had these watches. I think, like, for US presidents or something. Um, it's it's Rolls Gold, right? Rolls Gold. Very beautiful, it was my first watch ever. I bought it for three Bitcoin, when Bitcoin was at $7,000. Um, so obviously I lost money on this already because now Bitcoin is uh, worth multiples more. But um, it was my first ever watch and it will always be very special to me. Um, so you're not gonna sell it? No, this, I'm, doesn't matter. Even if someone comes and buys it now for three Bitcoin, there's no way I'm gonna sell it. Even 10 Bitcoin, this is like, very emotional for me so for sure this is uh, like um, a very special watch for me i'm just gonna put that somewhere i'll put it there for now um let's try it on yeah let's do that so you open it like this and um, first of all you can see here that you have the moon face here so you can see the face of the moon and um, for everyone who knows more about my story you guys know that um, how i got started with my entrepreneurial um, ventures was actually through a YouTube channel called The Moon. <laughs> so um, in some areas of the world I'm famous as The Moon and it's only fitting then that I'm buying a moon face, not less I think. Um, 
Very beautiful. So you, you bought this watch based on the, on the title, right? Kind of. <laughs> I mean, w I, I wanted it Patek Philippe because uh, I know for a fact that Patek Philippe is known as like the, the best brand in the world, the best watch in the world. Um, I wanted the Nautilus because I think the Nautilus is just like very me. I think it's, it looks beautiful and it's just, it's my style. It's like not too, uh, not too fancy, not too blingy no diamonds and um, it's just like, you know, the average person wouldn't really know that it's a very like complex or, or special watch, but people in watches, they know that it's a very, very, very good watch. So let's come to the most important question. How much was this watch? Yeah, initially, so initially, initially. The, the retail price, yeah. I actually don't know about that. I think probably like uh, maybe $60,000. I don't know, but we I... Will, we will put it here. Like we will put it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But how much did you buy it for? Exactly $137,000, but I paid in crypto actually. So um, cool. I paid in crypto here in Dubai. And uh, next time I go buy a crypto watch, <laughs> uh, we should make a video of that for sure. So subscribe right now so that you guys uh, can stay up to date. But yeah, so this is the watch. Let's maybe take a look at it. Let's make, I, I'll take it off. We can also show the the back because it's beautiful. So here you see, you can see the day and the date and um, it glows in the dark. And it's a nice gradient from dark blue to black, right? Yeah, I think it's Super a, nice. very, very beautiful. And these are of course very rare, um, very hard to get. Um, and so yeah. people actually wait more than eight years to get this watch. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, like in even this, if you can afford this watch, yeah, not e anyone can get it. Yeah, even if you go to Patek Philippe and say I pay double, they are still not gonna sell it to yeah. you. Like, you can't. It's not possible. They will literally laugh at you. That's that's like you know how it works. But look at the the back. I think it's very cool. If you can see. It's a very beautiful watch. So yeah, this is my everyday watch currently because uh, it's not so, it, it's perfect. It's not so blingy. It looks perfect on my wrist because I have a very small wrist and um, it's steel. I, I like it. It's like very easy to, um, it's not so clunky. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. And it's, there are Nautiluses that are much um, thicker. This one is a little bit thinner and a little bit like you know, it's perfect. Like, literally, I, I couldn't have um, asked for a better watch than this. This is my favorite watch by far. And um, I am probably never selling this one. If you enjoy these type of videos, um, please leave a, subscri a, a subscription down below. Leave a thumbs up. And, and comment your, your favorite watch, because he's about to buy some more to expand yes. his collection. So maybe we will just buy a bunch of... Uh Watches in the, in the comment? <laughs> I think so, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Is it too crazy or? No, I mean, if you guys have a good example of another watch that I should buy, uh, leave the comment down below and upvote your favorite comment. Uh, right now, I think if I'm if if I had to buy a watch tomorrow, it would probably be a Richard Mill because I still don't own a Richard Mill and. Um, but I want a small Richard Mill. I don't want these like huge, you know. I want a small one. Um, but if you have any other suggestions, like AP, I don't know, another Patek or whatever, like, you name it. Leave a comment down below. Um, but um, in the future, I'm going to make a lot of these type of videos because when I was um, a few years ago, very unsuccessful, just had a normal day job in a grocery store. Um, I was going on YouTube and I was watching these videos literally like almost every day, unboxing Patek Philippe's and watching people drive around in their Bugattis. Um, I, w I got so inspired by it that um, I, f I feel now that I've reached this success myself. I want to give back. So I'm not doing this video in any shape or form to like show off or anything. Literally the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to show you guys that a few years ago, like three years ago, four years ago, I, I had nothing. I was making $1,500. Uh, per month. I was working in a grocery store. I was watching these types of videos that you're watching right now and I was imagining myself. I was envisioning myself being successful, being able to buy a $140,000 watch. I mean, this watch costs more than like multiple years of me working in that grocery store in just one little watch like this. It's, how, uh, how does it feel to wear a watch that expensive? 
I mean, right now, I guess I'm getting a little bit used to it, uh, to, to have a boring answer, but um, when, I, when I look at it and when I really think about it, when I, when I you know, have these moments of realization, like, wow, I, like, it's insane how far I, I came in such a short period of time, that makes me really like, emotional and very like, grateful that uh, I was able to turn my life completely around and, um, and that I'm living now my dream life. Like, um, obviously like cool watches, cool cars, that's one thing, but you know, the mindset, the, the, the friends I'm surrounded by right now, the, the lifestyle, the freedom, that's the, the real value. And uh, it's always gonna be very nice to have these watches and cool cars and stuff, um, but the freedom of like, you know, choice, the freedom of doing whatever you want every single day when you wake up, having this amazing office with these incredible employees that are working for me, it's like, that's the real success to me and um, making these videos now makes me super happy uh, also on my other channel the moon that i started with it makes me so happy so like the business itself that's what makes me happy and um, these are like small trophies of like success you know when i when i feel like yeah i really made it um, I like those small, um, like reward yourself. I, I think it's important, so. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, obviously, I'm sad that I can't tell you who owned the watch, but whatever. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And also, interesting to know is that this watch, like I said in the video, I bought it for $137,000. I just checked the prices. These watches are right now selling for $180,000. And uh, I've, I've only worn it for like a little bit more than six months, I think. So the value of this watch has completely exploded. It's very, very crazy. So in six months, the value has gone up more than $40,000. So I literally made a bunch of money just wearing it. It's crazy. The watch market right now is completely mind blowing. Um, leave a thumbs up down below if you like watches and also let me know down below in the comment section if you want me to do more of these watch videos and tell me what watch I should buy next. But yeah, go and click my next video, we're popping up somewhere right here and I will see you guys over there. Bye bye.